Um, my daughter Kate did it once, you know, and then it was, I didn't know she was doing it until this morning, so I was really um, pleased to hear that uh, neat tradition we have. Um, as far as the game goes, uh, give Arizona a lot of credit. I mean, they hit big shots, played great defense, second half, um, and uh, just enough, I guess. Made all their free throws, 15 for 15, you know, which is impressive, and, and um, just made the plays down the stretch just enough to win the game. And so I was pleased with our uh, effort. This team gave everything they had all weekend long. Um, rotation was funky today. It was hard uh, to manage. The puzzle was tough to put together today. Um, you know, looking back, I just wish I could have done a better job of it. And so i um, really proud of our effort and I uh, give Arizona a lot of credit. Scott, do you have any update on Kennedy and, and her status? Um, I don't have definitive anything. Uh, for you guys, offensively, things w looked really good in that first half. What kind of changed in that second half? Was it something they did? Was it just you guys not executing as well? Or? I think it was a combination of both. Um, they started switching screens, and we didn't move the ball as well as we should have and could have. Um, and then it got stagnant there in the second half and then into overtime. Um, and we were able to execute as well as we should have. Because this is just another, this is just typical, it seems, in the Pac-12, that all these games are a grind. They're all tough. The schedule you play is so hard. Is this just kind of more of the same and what you would expect the rest of the day? It doesn't feel typical to me. It seems odd to me, um, to be honest. I've been doing this a long time. Probably coached something like 750 games or something like that now. It just seems weird. Um, so I can't say that anything feels typical. Um, and so uh, it's just managing what you can control through all the weirdness. Scott, have you had a more physical weekend than both these games? It just seemed like it was, it was just a slugfest both games. Well, we have played against a slugfest for 12 games now. I mean, there's a, I just was, right before I came out here, looking at an Instagram picture of Mick getting hammered on her arm without a call right off the bat to start the game, and that set the tone. It let them swing all day, which they were able to get away with. And so um, that's how it's been. I mean, Destiny's getting his body slammed to the ground on layups mm -hmm. without a call. It's a joke. So um, I know that I'm supposed to lie and not share my true opinion uh, for some reason. Um, you know, so I'll lie and say it had nothing to do with that. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's, it's hard to manage for sure. And so it's been extremely physical, um, which is concern. It's a concern. I mean, it goes against everything that we have been taught, trained to I mean, we're supposed to prepare our team to play freedom of movement based off rules videos that we watch at the beginning of the year that everybody's supposed to play by. So that's what I expect. And if that doesn't happen, what are we doing? You know, so I'm just wondering, what are we doing? So I'm trying to coach around something that I can't even, I don't even know what we're doing. So what is this? You know, so it's frustrating. You know, I can't sit here and say, oh, that's why we lost. I'm not going to sit here and say that. But to say that it's not a factor is, would be, of course it's a factor. Every game has, you got to figure out every game. That's part of the game, you know. So learning to play through it, around it, uh, coach around it, um, not really know how because you're not really sure what, it's not easy, man. And so, um, yeah, so it's been very physical. It's, been, it's concerning, to be honest. Um, it's not a trend I think anybody wants or... Um, uh, it, it goes against everything we've been talking about wanting to be as a sport. So I don't know. I have no idea. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. Um, you, you guys started out, I think you hit 13 of your first 22 shots, and then after that it, it really fell off. It, was, it, was there anything in particular that was really going well early that just wasn't there, or, or did mm. it just, you just guys have a good run early? I don't know. You know, I... Um, I, I would guess, I mean, both of us dropped off a bit. Um, you know, I think we shot very similarly in the second half. Uh, so to me, you know, I think we got tired, honestly. Um, I think our legs were gone. I was trying to get us stuff at the rim, which was hard to do because <laughs> it was very physical trying to get to the rim. And so, um, you know, then you're stuck up against shot clocks, you know, shooting really tough perimeter shots and give them credit for doing a good job boxing us out and holding us to one shot. Mick and Lee, you guys went through this last year. We don't know Kennedy's how long she's out, but obviously she's not, you know, was out today, and, and you guys had to adjust on 
uh, Friday as well. You guys went through this last year with Cat there. How difficult is it at this point of the season? I know you have faith in your teammates, but to kind of go through some different rotations and things and get that comfort, you know, especially against the high level of competition you guys are facing. Yeah, everybody's gonna have to step up. We're gonna have people that aren't um, usually in those roles come to new roles and be bigger than what they've been before and have people that um, just gotta continue to work and get comfortable with being uncomfortable. So it'll be, it'll be new roles and we'll have to embrace that. Yeah, when someone like that goes down, um, it takes everyone. It takes everyone to step up, play big. Um, and yeah, um, we as a team, we just have to play big and. We didn't do that today. We didn't have enough enough people step up to play to play for us and fill that role. And Mick and Alita, this was probably the biggest win for Arizona, at least on the road in school history. They played you tough the first time, but they were coming off a big loss at Oregon. Uh, did you expect them to be really strong coming out here today? Yeah, anytime you lose by that many points, you're frustrated and you want to come out hard the next game. So we knew we were going to get a big effort from them. Um, we expected that, and they came out and played well today. Go Beefs.